Proverbs 9 verses 1 to 18 Wisdom hath builded her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled her wine. She hath also furnished her table. She hath sent forth her maidens. She creeth upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame, and he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple, and knoweth nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house, on a seat in the high places of the city, to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. And as for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he knoweth not that the dead are there, and that her guests are in the depths of hell. Opening Sentence Proverbs 9 verses 1 to 2 Wisdom hath builded her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled her wine. She hath also furnished her table. Finding the theme, two houses, and two doctrines. Chapter 9 is the culmination of section 1 of Proverbs, which represents the culmination of God's dealings with the nation of Israel. This chapter contains many similarities to the book of Revelation. It presents two women with two houses offering two doctrines to the children of Israel. The first woman is wisdom, who offers the word of God. The second is the strange woman, who offers a counterfeit. Seven pillars. Pillars are associated with places of worship, as noted by its first mentioned in the book of Exodus. God commanded the children of Israel to destroy the pillars of the false gods. Exodus 24 verses 4 to 5 And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early in the morning, and builded an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars, according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings, and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. Deuteronomy 12 verse 3 And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. God gave doctrine to Israel through the law of Moses, which stands in contrast to the false doctrine of Satan. Both doctrines include pillars and altars as places of worship, and both prepare a table with food and drink. Why seven pillars? The book of Revelation holds the key in Revelation 1 colon for John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. The true church is the pillar of truth. These seven churches are contrasted with the seven pillars of the false religious system of Satan. Revelation 17 verse 9, And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains, on which the woman sitteth. Jerusalem is known for its seven mountains or high places. By Revelation 17 verse 9, the strange woman will have successfully dominated the religions of the world through Satan's doctrine, which will be headquartered in Jerusalem. God had declared long ago that Jerusalem is the city where he would place his name and his throne. Jerusalem is destined to be the city of the great king, Jesus Christ. Yet Satan is the usurper who has set himself in the temple of Jerusalem as a counterfeit to be worshipped as God. 2 Kings 23 verse 27 And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel, and will cast off this city Jerusalem which I have chosen, and the house of which I said, My name shall be there. 
Jeremiah 3 verse 17 at that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it, to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. Psalm 48 verse 2 beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. The entire book of Revelation is a future tense prophecy that concerns the children of Israel and the city of Jerusalem during their seven-year tribulation period spoken of by Daniel the prophet. The seven churches in the book of Revelation are filled with believing Jews, Revelation 2 verse 9, 3 colon 9, who have fled the land of Israel and established seven assemblies in Asia Minor. Revelation 1 verse 3 blessed is he that rea death and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Daniel 9 verse 27, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Wisdom Stable Proverbs 9 verses 3 to 5, She hath sent forth her maidens. She creeth upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither, as for him that wanteth understanding. She saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Like the good shepherd of Psalms 23, wisdom hath prepared a table. The bread is God's word, just as Christ is the bread from heaven. Psalm 23 verse 5 Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Luke 4 verse 4 And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. John 6 verse 33 For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. The wine is the blood of the new covenant. Wisdom mingled the wine to make it easier to digest for the simple ones. Both the bread and the wine are the word of God. John 6 verses 41 to 65. Matthew 26 verse 29. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine, until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. John 6 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Hebrews 13.20 Now the God of peace, that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Wisdom's final invitation. Proverbs 9 verses 6 to 9 Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame and he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. During the seven-year tribulation, the word of God goes out to the seven churches, to unbelieving Israel and the entire world. God gives every opportunity for mankind to repent, to change their mind, and come unto him. Those who despise scorn, wisdom's call will take the mark of the beast in order to eat from the table of the strange woman. Revelation 13 verse 17, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Only those who are wise and just, and those who fear the Lord will receive God's doctrine. Proverbs 9 verses 10 to 12, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. The Foolish Woman's Invitation Proverbs 9 verses 13 to 17, a foolish woman is clamorous, She is simple, and knoweth nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house, on a seat in the high places of the city, to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. And as for him that wanteth understanding, 
she saith to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. The bread of the foolish woman is false doctrine. But in the seven-year tribulation it will also be literal bread that can only be purchased by following the doctrine of the strange woman. The foolish woman claims that her stolen water is sweet. That may be true in the beginning, but her doctrine is false, and the water becomes bitter in the end. Proverbs 5 verses 3 to 4 For the lips of a strange woman drop as an honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil, but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Proverbs 20 verse 17 Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Revelation 8 verse 11 And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. Conclusion Chapter 9 concludes this section of Proverbs with the same harsh reality as the book of Revelation. Proverbs 9 verse 18 But he knoweth not that the dead are there, and that her guests are in the depths of hell. Revelation 16 verse 2 And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Revelation 21 verse 8 But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, and sorcerers and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Summary Wisdom has built her house and furnished her table with the bread and wine of God's doctrine. Her invitation is to all. Only those who fear the Lord and believe His words will accept her offer. The strange woman also furnished her table with the bread and water of Satan's deceitful doctrine. During the seven-year tribulation, those who accept wisdom's offer will be hated and martyred, but they will receive the reward of eternal life. Those who partake of the strange woman's invitation will have temporary comforts of food and riches, but they are actually partaking of the table of the devil and will receive eternal damnation as their reward. Dispensation Consideration In today's dispensation of grace, the doctrine of God has been offered to us by the Apostle Paul. He says in Romans 6 verse 17, But God be thanked, that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. This form of doctrine includes salvation from hell by faith in Christ's redeeming work on the cross. Those who believe this doctrine will receive the gift of eternal life. Life Application Believing God's words is a matter of life and death in every dispensation. Only those who fear the Lord and believe His word which he has preserved in the Holy Bible, will walk in the way of understanding for all eternity. End of section 1. Chapter 10 begins section 2, which includes Proverbs chapters 10 to 24. Proverbs 10 verse 1 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son mocketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Proverbs chapter 9 Homework Two women, this strange woman, who represents the doctrine of Satan as pictured in section 1 of Proverbs, is found throughout the book of Proverbs and in other passages of Scripture. Look up the following references to read about this woman. 1 Kings 16 verse 31, 2 Kings 11 verses 1 to 3, Proverbs 14 verse 1, 21 verse 19, 23 verse 27, 30 verse 20, Matthew 13 verse 33. Luke 13 verse 21, Revelation 2 verse 20, Two houses, in Matthew 7 verses 24 to 27, Jesus described the two described the two houses which are built according to belief in his word or rejection of his word. Prophecy, Daniel 9 verses 24 to 27, is the prophecy concerning the nation of Israel. It speaks of Jesus' death and the following seven-year tribulation. The book of Revelation is the culmination of Daniel's prophecy. During the time of Jacob's trouble, which is another name for the seven-year tribulation, Jeremiah 30 verse 7, the church that exists today, the body of Christ, Ephesians 1 verses 22 to 23, Colossians 1 verse 24, will be in heaven at rest with the Lord while he is pouring out wrath on the earth, 
2 Thessalonians 1 verse 7 and surrounding context. Concordance search. There are four references for prepare and table. Study the context of each to understand that these are written about the time of Jacob's trouble. Psalms 23, 5 Isaiah 21, 1 to 65, 11. Ezekiel 23 verse 41. Note in Psalm 78, which is a review of Israel's history. The children of Israel provoked God by asking him if he was able to furnish a table in the wilderness. Psalms 78 verse 19. God did provide quail and manna, and he provided water from the rock to fulfill Israel's most basic needs as they wandered in the wilderness after escaping Egypt. During the seven-year tribulation, Israel will once again flee into the wilderness to escape persecution of the great dragon, Revelation 12, and they will have to rely on God's miraculous provision for their daily bread, Matthew 6 verse 11, Luke 11 verse 3. Concordance search, the word scorner is found 15 times in the King James Bible. Also search for other forms of the word scorn. Note that the word scorn is used with the word despise three times, helping us define the term.